She says that jokes are too simplistic. They convert her trauma into humor. One could argue the point of humor yeah. and obscure the ugly truth of her story. I just can't imagine. She, listen, there. It's like I was raped. How bad was it? People feel good when we laugh. I feel better when I laugh. It's like the laugh. You ever see the laughing yogi? Re 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 relief. Release. He's retarded. Blah, blah, blah. So you must have uh, seen this advertised <laughs> by Netflix. Speaking of not laughing. I yes. almost had a stroke. Speaking Sorry. Not laugh. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's a highly acclaimed comedy. I was talking about, finally someone sent it. Remember I said I, it was, the problem yeah. with Netflix is you get these previews that just start, it just starts right. playing and you're like, I don't even, I, what? Hate I, the auto play. Hate the auto play. Hell on wheels, so I kind of want to watch this. Hey look, Bill Paxton. <laughs> I thought he was, he's, he's, not, he's not still around. This is an old one, but Netflix is playing it. And then you can't find it again. Yeah. So thank you for, I don't remember who sent it, but I said, please send along yeah. this thing. Uh, it, it's an acclaimed comedy special, Nanette, in which she announces that she's, and she's getting all kinds of press for quitting com. Here, here, here's a, here's a clip. I am not a man hater, but I am afraid of men. If I'm the only woman in a room full of men, I am afraid. And if you think that's unusual, you're not speaking to the women in your life. I don't hate men, but I wonder how a man would feel if they'd have lived my life. Because it was a man who sexually abused me when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, this is comedy? No, she goes on to say, so this whole, it's the anti-comedy <laughs> special. She says that jokes are too simplistic. They convert her trauma into humor. One could argue the point of humor yeah. and obscure the ugly truth of her story. I don't think there's any obscuring the ugly truth. <laughs> no. Yeah. There's not enough tarps in the world. Comedy, she says, has prevented her from evolving. And this is like, this is comedy now. Like we've talked about how comedy is no longer funny. Yeah. This is actually being praised as foundational, Cutting edge. groundbreaking. <laughs> found, found. Oh. Listen, I want, I want to pitch an idea. Okay, a comedy special without any laughs. <laughs> I mean, it's, think about it. No, we well, want it all. It, Sexist. Not funny. <laughs> not funny. Wait for it. Wait for it. Not at all funny. It's my comedy without laughs. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to turn that down. I am a lesbian, though. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's 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 comedy without laughs. It's called spoken word, or also being a douche. Yes, or she's also gonna have a cameo in Super. Or Samantha so B. She turns out it worked well for her. Also a short arc. <laughs> uh, turns out that by the way, that we're giving her too much. Yeah, we're being a little bit harsh. Turns out the special was hilarious. They just forgot to mix in the microphones with the audience. Thanks to Mug Club, we actually have an exclusive of oh. the real clip, the remastered one. It was a man who beat the. Sh out of me when I was 17. It was two men who raped me when I was barely in my 20s. Uh, Tell me why is that okay? Why was it okay to pick me off the pack like that and do that to me? Rape, that's a funny word. Can I use that? She's worse than Banya. And that was worse than we thought in the pitch meeting when I saw <laughs> It you know, makes all the difference in the world. At what point do we have to hold the free market like accountable for this? Like, who's buying tickets? To no, there is no free market. That's the yeah. problem. Netflix is not, they're trying to manipulate the free market. It's yeah. true. It's true. So they're just pushing it's, it through. It's this, just like, like Goldman Sachs. They just, they just whose money are they spending? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody with too much of it. <laughs> you go up there. It's like, I mean, I just can't imagine. She, listen, there. it's like, I was raped. How bad was it? <laughs> the, it was the, so bad. So bad in the Middle Eastern. Like, How many witnesses were there? <laughs> there's no other. <laughs> what other <laughs> well, not enough. You're Three, going to you're prison. <laughs> <laughs> but it, like, it's the only job. Like, this is one thing that I've always, I, I, I don't like it about musical artists. We were talking about this kind of recently about Kurt Cobain. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's actually a great song by Cat Power. About how, and I understand you don't want to play the same thing forever. That being said, you are a performer. People do pay you to perform. Yeah. And in comedy, they pay you to make them laugh. I'm very aware of that. It's the only job. It's not like a plumber shows up and says, well, you're supposed to clean your, your pipes out? Yeah, I'm just here to talk about rape. <laughs> hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, I would say subscribe, hit the notification bell, or watch one of these videos playing in a box that we've personally uploaded and programmed for your viewing pleasure. The problem is now, in today's day and age on YouTube in 2018, any of those three things that you do, any of those three buttons that you click will take you directly to a Seth Meyers video. So stay here and join Mug... Get off of here. Go to loudwithcutter.com slash mugclub. It's the only safe place you can go and join.